Guys, I really wanted to avoid Arto topic because he is very hyped, everyone is talking about him, but at the same time I've learned a lot about him and I figured out that he isn't as good as I thought, so I'll talk about this in this video. Greetings comrades, Soviet Gaming here. If you're new to this channel and interested in AFK Arena and other idle hero collector and blah 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 games, just subscribe to the channel, hit that bell button, we are trying to reach 500 before the new year, help us with that. <laughs> Alright, so Arthur. Let's focus. When I first read about him in the patch notes, I was really surprised how cool he could be, how great his abilities will be. I thought that this thing, like the Link, will be the best thing ever and he will be extremely powerful. But that is not true. Of course you can link Arthur to your best hero, you can link him to 5 star hero and he will be a 4 star character, but at the same time he is not that good. Why? Let me talk about this right now. First of all, he cannot be used in the group with that hero. So if you have 5 top heroes that are 5 stars and you will link Arthur to them, you won't be able to use him in that setup. Moreover, you won't be able to use him in the Legends Challenger tournament because if the hero he is linked to in one of the formations over here, you won't be able to place Arthur in any of the formations. Of course his skills look pretty good, he looks like a pretty dope character, but first of all, he doesn't have any attributes. So. Mm, he isn't a Celestial, he isn't Hypogean hero and he doesn't belong to any faction, so you won't get a faction bonus. If you'll be using 4 characters with the same faction and Arthur, you will get only 4 faction bonus. Combined with the factor that Arthur cannot be used with in the same team with the linked hero, that means that for the younger, uh, lower level players, he is quite useless because you want to use him to your strongest character, but you won't be able to use him here, and you won't be able to use him because of the faction bonus, so he won't be that fantastic for you. He is more geared toward the players who already have a lot of 5 star champions and uh, some of those are just idle and doing nothing. And then you can actually use him as a backup tank for some specific situation. Moreover, for the resonating crystal, he is considered an elite hero, so you won't get additional ascended hero here if you don't have 5 of those. You're in trouble, you will still have to level different characters. He cannot be placed on the crystal pentagram, he is just another hero that is just elite. So if you plan to use him for the crystal, you can't. And since I don't have Arthur myself, since he's extremely expensive, I've read some reddit and the guys say that he isn't really amazing, but he isn't really bad, he's just a good tank that can tank enemies that don't have the burst damage. So basically against the team, that have constant damage, he is a good decent tank, not more, not less, he isn't fantastic, he isn't game breaking, he isn't OP, he is just good. So guys, if you're thinking of getting him, just get him as additional tank if you are far into the game, if you have several ascended 5 star units, if not, don't even think about it. Specifically if you're trying to get him using the lab coins, you'd better save them for anyone out there, for Shimira, Nemora. Gradual, uh, Faux, anyone will be better because they will first of all level up your entire team and will be overall more useful because you will have to tie him to a really really high end character and you won't be able to get his benefits before you will be able to buy him for 240k coins, that's a lot. Also, if you actually decided to get him, keep in mind that he have his own factional gear that is being sold right now for quite a lot of money on the pace shop as well and I haven't saw it in the gear shop before and I really hope that that gear won't go in the normal pool of the gear because otherwise it will be even harder to get factional gear for us we already have Hypogean and Celestial gear that is usually quite useless while we're trying to get the normal faction gear if we'll get dimensional gear there as well that will be a disaster also a good thing he can be used as a mercenary so if you really want to try him out if you really want to get one Ask your friends, ask your guildies, if they have it, just borrow it from them and test him out if you like him or not. And yeah, don't forget that he is dimensional hero, so he have different emblems and you need 300 to get to the plus 30 signature item. And those will cost 384,000 tokens from the lab. So when you buy him, you can get 50 emblems for 64,000 tokens. That's a lot, a lot of grinding. For the sake of making him the ultimate hero and the best hero and topping him up. So yeah, to sum it up, he is pretty good hero for someone who have end game set up already. For someone in the beginning or mid game, until you get uh, at least 5 of your heroes to the top ascended tier and have some extras, he doesn't really worth it 
it's really hard to get him, it's really hard to level him, it's really hard to gear him, and you will encounter a lot of issues. So most likely you will be disappointed if you'll get him. But if you're a whale and you have thousands of diamonds and uh, you don't know what to do, of course go for it, he's pretty fun hero, he is a really good tank. People say that he is tanking pretty good if the enemies don't have burst, so you might enjoy him. I hope this video was useful for you and now you know if you want to go for Arthur or not. The hype have to cool down because I was extremely hyped for him when I first read about him and I was actually going to go for those lab tokens for him. But after the hype will cool down, you will understand that he isn't the hero. You will always have Athelia, Shimira and all of those top tier heroes that we have right now that will kinda outperform him and you will need them more than him in your team composition. Thank you for watching, I hope now you know a thing or two about Arthur and you know if you want to get him or not. Write in the comments if you have any comments considering Arthur and uh, if you don't like the video, write in the comments as well. If you like it though, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you won't miss any new videos. That's about it for now guys, Sovet out, see ya comrades, bye!